Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test stream. Today we're going to take a look at Axon 2 from Audio Damage. So yeah, this is a neuro sequencer. <clears throat> it has seven FM synthesizers and seven nodes, or seven synths, and a sequencer. So you can see on in the top left hand corner, just below where it says Axon 2, you'll see the actual sequence, sequencer itself. And you will see that just to the right of that, there is a little set of boxes marked 00 to 06. I'll start highlighting those now so you can see. And we'll go to 00. And 00 is the center one. Above the center one is number one. And then going all the way around to number six. Okay, so you can set this up in various ways. It's very, very cool and it's very, very clever. So it can either play, it can either be like a drum machine or a melodic synth. Okay, so this is very cool. So the first part of this video, I'm going to actually give you an overview of the interface here. And in the second part of the video, I'm going to run it in AUM. <clears throat> and and trust me, it gets amazing in AUM or any, any multiple. Because it's an AUV3, we can run it multiple instances. And because it's very, very CPU friendly, it's very, very cool indeed. Okay, so let's see. So this is a, a, a patch called Psychoactive. If you tap on the patches at the top you'll see you get a few user patches but i'm guessing that most people are going to want to get into programming this once they understand how it works it's very cool so just to the left of psychoactive is the midi is the is your is your midi thing and then just then your play and then your tempo now you will notice that on the sequencer to the top left of the sequencer it says network and it's highlighted in red if i Take that away, you will see various lines and connections made between those nodes. If I put network on, I can now make other connections going out from the center node. Okay. So I just highlighted node number three there. So remember from the center to the top, one, two, and then goes around to three. And you'll hear that that is pulsing away like this. I'll just press solo on the mixer. And that is number three. Now to the, <clears throat> sorry, just to the right of the numbers, the boxes numbers, you will see it says pitch, threshold, distortion, noise. This is part of the synth. If I take the pitch down now, so you get an idea of how that works. If I take the distortion up, and the noise I can start making. Make adjustments to the actual sound of number three. Okay, so let's get the amp, amp envelope going a little bit. And the threshold is the most important thing here. This this determines how how often it pulses. And the pulse is determined by what's going on in threshold number one. Don't forget, I've got the others muted. So let's turn that down to zero, number one. Let's unmute number three. <clears throat> Go back to number one. Let's stay on number one. You can see that number one is highlighted in the little boxes. And let's adjust the threshold for number one and it will change the pulsing for every single one of those nodes. Very cool beans. Now you can also see if we highlight, if I solo number three again, let's drop the threshold for number one, go to number three. In the mixer, if above the above where it's say I've now sold it, you'll see pan. So obviously you can pan it left and right, but also then you have your delay send. And there's your delay controls to the left of the mixer. And they are global. Okay, so you, you, now you have a general overview of how it works. I'll start highlighting these nodes. You can see that the synth settings will change each time a new one is selected. So you have seven different 
variations of a synthesizer. You have seven different synths and seven different ways to send pulses to those synths with this sequencer. And then you have a mixer at the bottom and a master sequencer. So if we choose another one, you can get another idea of how it sounds. And if we hit network, we can start making different connections. Change the sounds. Okay, so if we go to um, empty stuff, now I have got some user patches set up. I set up one called Carpenters here. And then a, a dead basic one. via the network now. So I've just set up number five. So if I highlight number five, by playing with the threshold. Okay, so there's that. Now, if we want to just, let's just do like a complete, uh, let's do an empty starting patch, okay? So the only thing that is triggering here is node one. Okay, so if we select network and select node one, if we touch, the nodes around it you see they'll join up like this and because they're all receiving their initial base information from zero zero now that is the master node sort of thing the center node is the thing that sends information that receives and sends information it and the, the ones around it don't they work off that center one okay so They'll all, they're, they're, what will happen now is every single one of those nodes will fire all of the time when I press play. Actually, no, because Chris has set up the initial start and patch slightly differently. But you get the idea. If we go, if we scroll down, you look, watch the thresholds as I go down. The, the threshold for zero, 04 is set at six. Let's set that at zero. Then that set it two, then that set it four. Now every single one of these will fire at the same time. So you can start to work out how you can actually manipulate the sounds in action two. Ax accent two. I find it really hard to say that. Accent two. Okay, now you can send MIDI out and stuff like that, but I'm not going to get into that here because I'm a MIDI. Yet. But you know, I'll, I will, I will have a crack at it. But other people will be better at MIDI <laughs> with this than me. I just want to show you guys the actual. So you now you know the interface. Okay, so in a moment we'll get back um, and I will go into AUM where it really, really does get very, very, very cool indeed. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a sec in AUM. Right, okay, and by the magic of video editing, we are now in AUM. Okay, so um, there is nothing else, absolutely nothing else running on the iPad at all, apart from the screen recorder, obviously. <clears throat> so I set up um, a little bit earlier a bunch of um, Accent twos, a bunch of uh, uh, audio damages effects, and a phosphor as well. So I'm going to go to files here and... Open Axon, Axon, <laughs> set one, and uh, just do this, and watch this. Look at how fast all this loads. So I think I've got about six uh, Axons there, one, two, three, four, five, six, a Phosphor, uh, an EOS, a, um, a dub station, another EOS, uh, 
Actually, is that what is that? That's an EOS, right? We've got an EOS, we've got a dub station, got another EOS, <clears throat> got a Quattro mod there, and we've got a grind here. Okay, so everything is. I'm just going to check me. Phosphor is connected to my uh, MIDI keyboard here. So just choose the little routing. Yes, and it is. Okay, so. Okay, that should be fine if I turn the volume up. Yep. Okay, so if we press, what we're going to do now is all these um, action twos. Let me just show you something now. Action two also now is, is obviously is best used as an AUV three, and you can you can now choose between the main view because you obviously it's bigger. You can't see the mixer, right? You can move it around the screen, but you can't see the mixer. Well, next to the play button, uh, there's it says main. Just below that, you can just flick that, and it'll choose mixer. And it'll go back and then if you if you move it up sort of thing at the bottom right hand corner of the actual synth uh, of the actual of action you'll see a little highlighted bar and um, just hold on to that and you can drag it out and now you have full screen editing of this auv3 which is i think is the first one which allows full screen editing of an auv3 and you can still move it around like you can with the others okay so i'm gonna just go back up with that there like that and close that a second. Now, I've, everything will be hosted to AUM. So all I need to do is press the little play bar. I'll turn out the microphone and let's just have a, we'll just have a blast. So I'm just going to hit play at the top right, uh, top left, sorry.
guys. <laughs> you could go on and on, but you get how awesome it is. Okay, so that was how many in the end? We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven action twos, um, a phosphor, uh, a load of effects. Um, yeah, and the thing to, to the thing to remember, in fact, on, on this, the phosphor, we had two effects. We had a dub station and a neos. And the, 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 the DSP, look, if we'll do it again, let's turn the volume down so it's not too loud. Was still no glitching. Even when I was playing, sixty-three percent. That's that's pretty impressive. And this is an iPad Air two. Uh, yeah, obviously running iOS. Um, anyway, guys. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Thanks for watching. I'll put links in the description for action below and uh, the other effects, that, uh, the other instruments and effects I used here. Okay. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron. It's very cool beans, and I'll see you guys later.